This is a walkthrough of the COBRA and Direct Billing Participant Portal. Once a participant has created their account and self-authenticated their email, they will be prompted to connect any accounts to that email. They do this by entering some simple pieces of information and then the system will locate the account and attach it to the email. If a participant has more than one billing record, such as COBRA, and also a retiree record, they can both be connected to the one email and one login. Once the account has been connected, the first thing a participant is prompted to do is elect their benefits. It gives them the last day that they have to elect and takes them through a simple five-step wizard to make their elections. First, the participant will verify information about themselves. Then the participant will be prompted to review information on any dependents on the record and then also any subsidies that may have been applied. Once that's done, the system will take them through a shopping cart-like exper experience where they can select the coverage based on their individual needs. So for example, if this participant needed medical only for their child, they could deselect themselves and their spouse. The system would elect, would adjust the coverage tier to children only and adjust the premium. The same thing for any other benefits they are eligible for. So for this example, we're going to elect medical for all family members. And then Pharmacy, we're going to elect pharmacy for the spouse only. For dental, we're going to elect only child. And then for the EAP, we're going to decline that coverage. So through that process, the participant has made the elections based on what their family needs rather than all coverages for all family members. This is all handled in one record, so even though the coverage for the spouse on prescription is set up, it would still be reflected in the same account. The same thing for the dental coverage. This allows a participant and their family to keep track of their benefits and premiums in an organized and easy access manner. Once that's been completed, the participant is given a summary of the benefits that they've elected. When those have been reviewed, by agreeing to the terms and conditions and submitting the election, the record is updated real time The participant has the ability to go in and edit their elections until the final deadline. Now, once a participant has made their elections, the next step is to pay for the coverage. Of course, the participant can mail a check to a lockbox, but they can also pay for the coverage online. They can do this by setting up a recurring payment from a bank account that is scheduled each month, there is no fee to do that. If the participant wants to make only a one-time payment, they can do that from a bank account or a credit or debit card. There will be a convenience fee that is 
assigned by the employer for that payment. To set up a recurring payment, there's a walkthrough to enter the account number and routing number information and checking or savings. And then it will create a confirmation and a confirmation of the automatic payment. For a one-time payment, participant would go in and select the amount they'd like to pay, how they'd like to pay it, and then agree to the terms. In addition to reviewing benefits and making payments through the portal, a participant is able to view any communications that have been sent to them and any documents that have been posted to the portal. Typically, this would be open enrollment materials, summary plan descriptions, or summary material modifications. But it can be anything that the employer would like. By going through these steps, the record is now updated and the system has queued up the appropriate notifications of enrollment to carriers and also queued up communications to the participant to confirm their elections. If the participant was electing during an open enrollment period, there would be a warning that would show them that it is open enrollment and instruct them to make those elections as well. I hope this walkthrough was helpful. Please contact us for more information or a deeper demonstration.